Hello and welcome to Leadership Wednesday. First of all, Happy New Year to you. I hope that all your wishes and your plans coming to pass in the coming year. I did a lot of reading and thinking over the last couple of days as it is usual. And instead of taking the, new, the usual New Year's resolutions, I decided more on areas I want to grow in the following year. And I come along about three different areas what I want to improve in 2020. The first thing and the first inspiration what I got is from a book by John Matone, The Intelligent Leader. Highly recommended a book about leadership. And he was the coach of Steve Jobs, for example. And he is quoting Steve um, where he said about the reflection what um, he did when uh, he was fired from Apple the first time and when he came back uh, after about 15 years um, and John Matone asked Steve Jobs about the learning in his business life and as you know Steve Jobs in the end um, was very self-reflecting about things in life and he was saying If you want to get different results in your personal life or in your business, then you have to have the courage to step outside of your comfort zone and disrupt yourself. You have to be willing to think as big as possible about yourself and what you have to contribute to the world. So live your life intentional. That means that you take deliberate measures in order to step out of your comfort zone and to do something great in 2020. The next thing what I discovered for myself was a nice little saying covering two points. It goes like this. The most influence in 2020 will have in your life the people you meet and the books you read. So it's all about the people you meet on a regular basis. There's a saying that the five people you surround yourself the most or you spend the most time with or are the influences in your life, they will determine the level where you can grow. So if you are the smartest person in the room or you perceive yourself as the smartest person in the room, then you probably will not grow in 2020. So my goal for 2020 is to meet new interesting people even if they have a different worldview than my own, but I want to learn what they think, what their challenges are, and what they can do to improve my life. The second group is the books you read. I did very well in reading last year, and I want to con continue to reading well in 2020. And for that reasons, um, I already bought a lot of books which I want to read and want to share with you. Um, the books will help you to enlarge your worldview. The tendency right now is, you know, that you star, stay in your little bubble, that you stay among the people who think the way you think, you have the same worldview as you have, and that will limit your growth as well. So my challenge is to think bigger, not only in the area of the people you meet, in the area of living your life intentional, but also the kind of books you will read. And it's not the reading alone, it's listening to podcasts or to go to seminars or to listening just to interesting people. But the key thing is that you're getting thought provoking things inside of your life. Let me know in your comments below what you think about these three goals and what you are doing in 2020 to improve and to get ahead in life. Thank you for watching. We'll be back next week. Thank you.